Hey everyone, today we'll be going over the fundamentals of C++, covering 17 chapters in under 3 minutes, and without any further hesitation, let's get started! First, we need to ask ourselves, what is C++? C++ is an object-oriented program developed by Binyar Strahlstrup, who wanted to create a language on the premise of something you can do with it, one that is fast due to low-level capabilities closer to the hardware, and has high-level abstraction, meaning easier to understand on the conceptual level. And these are the premises for C++. We can execute C++ in the following IDEs, depending on what machine you're using. And these are the steps for how C++ is executed. We use libraries to call upon various functions inside of our custom code, and there is the standard template library, which contains libraries such as containers, iterators, algorithms, function objects, input, output streams, and utilities. We use using namespace to be able to simplify our code. We use header files to be able to call upon other functions that we have made. We then create classes inside of our C++ files to be able to call upon custom functions as well as made data types inside of our following classes to be able to be executed inside of our main file. We create constructors to be able to actually create our own custom objects, and the fundamental data types include integers, booleans, floats, doubles, characters, void, and long. And we can treat our our data types with constant and static declarations, which are rules that allow a program to state, hey, this is something that cannot be changed. And all the following can be functions as well and must return something except for void. Then we have Boolean conditions, which are if else statements, allow us to be able to make declarations on rules that we set up and play. And we have exception handling utilizing try catch methods, which allow us to be able to catch a following behavior, depending on what type of heuristics or errors we are trying to catch. And in C++, we have statements, which are the fundamental building blocks of a given program. They represent individual instructions that the compiler translates into actions for the computer to perform, and every statement typically ends with a semicolon and is executed in the order that they appear. There are expression statements, declaration statements, compound statements, control statements, jump statements, input output statements, function call statements, and null statements. We then have different loops. We have for loops and while loops, which are used to be able to parse through different forms of data and how we do so. For loops are useful because there is an index that we initialize and we need to declare its behavior inside of the for loop, such as how it's initialized, how many iterations the index must go through, and what direction the index actually goes to. Meanwhile, we have pointers in C++, which are references to data types, and there are two different types of operators that we use. We have an asterisk and an and operator. And pointers are useful because they're able to retrieve memory faster and access the value at that memory's address, allowing us to do pass by reference and pointer arithmetic. Kind of like having an abbreviation to a middle name, allowing us to do low latency and high abstraction engineering. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.